How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and today we're going to try to get rid of these ads here on the Amazon Blue R1 HD. So um, basically this device is ad supported and um, I want to get rid of those on this device. I'm going to show you the simplest method that I've created to uh, go ahead and remove these ad ads off the device. So what this is going to do is this is actually going to um, remove all of the Amazon ads. The application should stay, but the ad should be gone. And it's going to block OTA updates. And the reason I want to block OTA updates is because if Amazon wants to restore those ads after I remove them, they can do that by pushing an OTA update that does that. So we don't want OTA updates to function after we remove the ads off the device. So I'm just going to show you what I'm working with um, and kind of explain this as I go. So you're going to want to come down here and make sure that you're on this custom build version, which is V6.4, right down there at the bottom. Now, if you're not, and you're on V6.1, at the time of this video, those are the only two versions that are available, then it should still work on both of those versions. But if you're on a different version, a newer than that, I'm not sure if this will work. You have to check and see if I have an updated uh, file for you. But anyway, that's what we're going to do. So we've got all this right here. This is where the device is. Basically, you're going to go ahead and plug in your device just like it is right now. And we'll plug it in. So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to end up flashing this device here with um, a custom system image and enabling the device to be bootloader unlocked all in one process. So let's go to my computer and download the files we're going to need to do this. All right, guys, here you go. This is the XDA post I made on this process. I'll be adding the video that I'm creating right now to this post actually once it's finished. Um, so basically, you're just going to download this file. So we're just going to go ahead and click on that, and it's going to open up to here. And you're going to download this removal file right here. That's pretty much what you're going to download. So you just click on it. It's going to be, what, 1.3 gigs. Um, so a pretty good-sized file because we're flashing that system image. And just download it to your computer. Once you've got it on your computer, uh, you're going to extract it. And mine extracted and it looks like this. So you can see right here, this removal. And once you're in there and you've got it extracted, you're going to have these two files. So this one's got um, a scatter file and a system image and an unlock image. And then this one's got the SP Flash tool. So we're just going to go ahead and click on it. We're going to launch the Flash tool EXE right here. And your scatter may load. It may not. But then basically what you want to do is you want to come over here to load scatter. And then you want to navigate to the correct scatter. So remove ads. Yes. Yeah, so firmware. That's correct. So I'm just trying to see. So there's the two files. There it is. There is the scatter. If you want to see the full name, there it is. No ads. R1 HD no ads. So just click on that. And you can see that both these are checked. So this is going to be the system image. We're going to build a flash that has removed all of the ads and OTA updates. And then this is the unlock uh, file that we're going to flash to allow us to uh, bootloader unlock if we want to do that. You don't have to do that one. You can uncheck it if you want. It's totally up to you. But And it doesn't do anything at this point. It's not like your bootloader is unlocked when you do this. Um, but you can. it just gives you the option to do that. And I'll show you that in a bit. So from here, all we're going to do is go ahead and hit download. And over here at the device, you can see nothing started. But if we just power off the device, so just come over here while it's plugged into the computer. Let's go ahead and power off. What happens is the device will go into preloader mode while it's powering down and the flash on the, on the computer will start. Now, about preloader mode, um, if this doesn't work and the device just powers off and doesn't connect to the computer and start the flash, like you can see happening over here on my computer, then what you're going to want to do is just power it on. And also, again, during power on, just hold down your power button. During power on, it goes and boots into preloader for a second. And if the computer sees that, again, it'll start the flash. So power down or power up, either way, should start the preloader flash on your computer, which is really nice to know. Um, this flash is flashing about uh, almost 3 gigs of files to the device because the system image is about 1.6, I mean 2.6 gigs. Um, so it's going to take, it's not really long, it's probably like three minutes to flash. So I'm going to let it flash and show it to you what to do once the flash is completed. So just want to note, if your device is not actually registering in uh, SP Flash Tool, I'll try to link some drivers to get it to function in SP Flash Tool correctly for you. I'll link them in the description down below, along with all the files. All right, so you can see it is done on the computer, so you can just hit close and close that out. We're done on our PC. 
And then you come over to the device, just go ahead and unplug it, and then hit hold the power button. This will boot it out of preloader and boot it up into the device. Now, at this point, we have not wiped data on the device. Um, so currently all your stuff is still on there and you should be okay. Now, what I found is that sometimes after flashing this, you know, I think most of the time, your lock screen still has one ad on it. Whatever the latest or last ad on the lock screen was, it's still there. Um, and the best way to get rid of that is to wipe data factory set the device. Um, once you do that, then the ads will be completely gone off the device and you'll be good and you will also have, like I said, blocked OTA updates uh, or disabled turned off. So as you can see, I still have an ad on my lock screen here. So it's like, oh, that didn't work, right? Well, it did. It's just that it's saved in user data. So there's two ways to deal with that. One, you can come down here to settings and you can go to, let's see if I can find it, back up and reset and you can wipe data fact to reset the device and you can do that and then once it reboots it's going to remove all of your stuff on your internal storage and all your apps and everything downloaded but once you do that it'll reboot and your ads will be gone off the lock screen or since you already have an unlock bootloader or the functionality to unlock your bootloader we can do another method that will wipe data factory set with it or you can boot into stock recovery there's, there's lots of mass methods to get rid of the last piece but you have flashed everything so i'm going to do the last method to show you guys actually how to unlock the bootloader this way too since it's part of this flash. If you're wanting to unlock the bootloader, basically, we're gonna show you some steps on how to do that right now. So to do that, now that we've done this uh, removing of ads, we're gonna unlock the bootloader to unlock the bootloader and then also wipe data. So to do that, you're gonna have to come in here and just scroll down and you gotta turn, go to about device, go to your build number and tap on it about 10 times and it says you are now a developer. Go back, developer options, turn on USB debugging and once you do that you should get this so hit always allow and hit OK that's to allow USB debugging from this computer and then we can close that out so from here we're gonna go back to my computer and run some commands to unlock the bootloader so to unlock the bootloader you're gonna need the Android SDK installed um, or just install these files right here basically the ADB fastboot files. This is a zip that you can actually download from my site that has those four files, just extract them to a folder. Um, I'll show you also, you can actually get them from right here too. Right there they are, Mac or Lin Linux or uh, Mac and Windows. So anyway, um, so you can get those files and we're gonna run some commands. So we're gonna open a command window here. So hold shift on your keyboard, right click, open command window here that opens a command window in the folder with your ADB and fastboot files so from here we're gonna type in ADB devices and hit enter so it comes back and shows that there's a serial number and says device that means your drivers and everything are functioning correctly so we're gonna type in ADB reboot boot loader and hit enter alright so at this point you go ahead and the device is rebooting into bootloader mode. It says fast boot at the bottom right there. So now we're going to type in fast boot devices. And it comes back with the same serial number and says fast boot. So that means where drivers are working again, good. And then to check if your device is unlocked already or what's going on, just type in fast boot get var unlock. And then uh, it doesn't give you the state. So we're going to do fast boot get var all that works all right so you can see right here it says unlocked no and secure yes all right so now we're going to unlock the bootloader so we're going to type in fast boot oem unlock and hit enter and over in the device, it just basically says hit volume up to unlock the bootloader. So we're just going to select volume up or volume down, down to not unlock the bootloader. Either one. All right. So it's just finishing up and it's going to go back to fast boot mode. So we're back in fast boot mode. So now to check if our bootloader is unlocked, just put in fast boot get var all again. And this time you can see here that secure is no and unlock is yes. So that means your bootloader is unlocked. Now, I want to make a clean note right now. If you have stock recovery still installed in your device, you can just type in fast boot reboot, okay? 
and it'll boot in stock recovery, wipe data factory, reset your device, finish removing all the rest of the ads off the lock screen, and reboot it. All right, that's great. You'll have to go through the setup process, but the ads will be gone. Or, number two, if you have Torp Recovery installed, at this point, you need to type in fast boot for mat user data. And if you want to just be safe and safe and safe, you can just do this command anyway. So do fast boot format user data. So this way, whether you have stock recovery or you have um, stock recovery or torp recovery, it covers you either way. And then you're going to do fast boot reboot. Hit enter, and the device is rebooting. So if you stayed through the video this far, you have now removed the ads off of the device. You have unlocked the bootloader. You have blocked OTA updates. Um, you've also gone ahead and wiped data factory reset the device. So we've done quite a few things. We're actually done on the computer at this point, which is great. So we can close that window out. And at this point, we're just waiting for the device to reboot. So once it reboots, you're going to have to go through the setup wizard, um, log into your Wi-Fi, log into your Gmail account, your Amazon account if you want as well, because most of those Amazon ads apps are still available on the device, just not the ads. And that's pretty much the process. So um, let me just go ahead and sail through my setup wizard once this thing boots and just show you that the lock screen ads are completely removed. I just want to point this out also. Uh, normally during Setup Wizard, right after you agree to all the Google stuff, it pops up with an Amazon sign-in part, and that's gone. So we don't have that feature anymore because we got rid of those ads. So as you can see here, we're going to lock the device and unlock the device and swipe up, and there is no more ads on the blue R1 HD Amazon variant. Um, you can actually see it's actually got like an icon missing because there's stuff that we just pulled out of there and it does they're not on the device anymore um, so there you go that is the process like I said you've kind of covered a little bit of everything here we've gotten rid of your ads you've unlocked the bootloader at this point if you haven't since you have the unlocked bootloader if you followed those steps you can go ahead and uh, flash twerp you can uh, get root access with flashing super su from twerp recovery you can mod you can install exposed framework you can freeze other applications I mean whatever you want to do so I hope you guys have liked this video. Stay tuned for more videos on this device along with all the other devices that I cover. If you want to see how to remove ads on the Moto G Amazon variant or even the Amazon Kindle Fire 5th Gen, I have videos on all of that as well. So go check those videos out. And that's going to wrap it up for me. Hope you guys liked the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Root Junkie out.